George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. In the jungle, a hero's work is often exciting, action-packed and exhilarating, always thrilling, even shocking. <laughs> but most of all, a hero's work is never done. Uh-oh. Working all this hero overtime has finally caught up to George and Abe. I distinctly said, throw the bomb into the volcano and take the baby bush baby to the orphanage. That's not how George hear it. Of course not. You heard it wrong, because despite the numerous times I've made the suggestion, you never clean the wax out of your ears. Shh, it hear you. Earwax have feelings too. No, it doesn't. Clean your ears. No, no one too. Clean it. You're not boss of George. Yes, I am. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Throw them in volcano! Okay, that's a no. What I'm thinking is, you're so busy saving everybody else, it's destroying your friendship. Say who? Posterous. So I passed the hat and everybody chipped in to send you both on vacation. Aw, that's so nice. Go camping. Rediscover why you're best friends. Or we throw you in volcano. George, don't eat that, it's... Extra crunchy! Uh, uh, <sighs> Why do I even try? Take the left fork, George! No thanks, George eat with hands! I meant the fork of the river! Why did not say so? I did say so! I clearly stated, take the... <sighs> Deep calming breaths. Relax. One wrong turn isn't the end of the world. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Not end of world. Just really big waterfall. <laughs> really, really big waterfall. Where, where are we? It looks familiar. <gasps> this rock George chew on when he was small, George. These vines I used to swing. That my favorite slamming into tree. Oh, great silverbacks, we've paddled into the past. Your wrong turn took us down the river of time. How come George never hear of this river? The apes discovered it long ago, but it was declared off limits for everyone's safety. Ah! Hey, there be us. Wait, George thought we are George and Ape. We are, and so are they. Those are our youthful selves. Our futures could be irreparably altered by the slightest change. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Hey, George, it me, you. Oh, we could do that. Ah, Firewave tastes like fire. I distinctly told you not to eat that. Yeah. Pleasure to meet me. Who you be? Uh, Here, the leaves of the gastro-pacificus bush are an effective anti-centipede. <laughs> I knew that. The question is, how did you know? The plant's medicinal properties were unknown until I discovered them last week. And so, introductions and lengthy explanations were dispensed with. See how handy having a narrator is? Time travel? Please, you must think I've only recently descended from the trees. I find your story to be highly improbable. Very well. 
given our keen intellect, a measure of youthful skepticism is understandable. Perhaps a demonstration. George, watch out for that! Truth accepted. So, how long George been shark wrestling champion? Shark wrestle what? And how many times have we gone into space? We've at least made low Earth orbit, I assume. Me want to be shark wrestling champion when me grow up. So me do it, right? Ah, the dreams of youth. Not wanting to be disappointments, George and Ape do what we'd all do. They lie to themselves. Oh, sure. George cannot move in Treehouse because it's so full of shark wrestler trophies. <laughs> Low Earth orbit? <laughs> Bonobos play. Let me tell you about my Mars colony. And then sneak away in the dead of night. <gasps> well, did you enjoy your vacation? Ah! Where's souvenirs? <laughs> me want to see Treehouse full of trophies. Could you kindly direct me to our launch pad? I'll be a marmoset's uncle if I'm waiting until I grow up to go into space. <laughs> See what little monkey made from coconut! One, where did you get those kids from? And two, why do they look so familiar? Uh, since we already know this bit, let's go right to young George and teen ape learning the shocking truth. We didn't build a rocket ship! We never wrestle sharks! Not once! Our youthful dreams of space travel and shark wrestling were replaced by more important duties and responsibilities. We heroes instead! George, King of Jungle! He protect others. A bad uh, do step two, not sure what. I take a more cerebral role and George provides the bro. That's who we are! A sidekick? A second banana? King of Jungle, boring! Come, George! Me show you fun things. We go lava surfing right now. Don't be ridiculous. This all their fault. Ape never let us have fun. Now we old and boring and smell funny. If it wasn't for you holding us back, we'd be colonizing Mars. Fine. Apes go Mars, Georges go lava surfing. Wait. champions of all time! Oh, why George no do this before? Because apes say... It's amazing what I can achieve when I'm not saying that to George all day. Together we stand on the brink of a new age of space exploration and discovery. Correction, you mean a new age of space domination! Observe, the planet is now at our mercy. At our what? No! We must use our intellect for good, not evil. I anticipated such a reaction. That's why I added this button. <laughs> What's the point of being this smart if I can't be Lord of the Universe? <laughs> huh? Why Shark so mad? Maybe wrestling sharks, not great idea. Ooh, they upset. Seek revenge. You right. Not great. Awesome! Like Lava Surf Park! Something about Lava George not remember. Lava awesome? Nope, that not it. Lava way cool? Hmm. That closer. Oh! oh. <laughs> What have you done? Lava's very, very... Fuck! Owie! Ow! 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 Yes! That it! Oh, me need a peace mark. Help! You bow space pirate! I hereby resign from being your leader! Death rate awesome! You make that? <laughs>
Yes, apparently in my younger days I was too smart for my own good. George must save Jungle from aliens! How'd he do that, eh? George, pretend that spaceship's a tree. Can you do that? What rocket ship? All George sees is flying tree. <laughs> George, watch out for that! Spaceship. And so, once again, Ape's quick thinking and George's thick skull combine to save the day. <laughs> if we just forget about all of this. When me grow up, me want to be king of jungle like George. You save everyone and beat up aliens. And I promise to always use my superior intellect for good. Together we shall become a team. I would even venture to say, heroes. Ah! They saved you like Big George. Ah! Who were those guys? Thank you, George. It appears that without you to keep my excessive intelligence occupied, I would be nothing but an evil genius without a conscience. George, I have no idea what you say, but you welcome? That's what I'm talking about. Now, we throw them in Volcano! Roar! There's a natural order in the jungle. All creatures respect the creature above them for good reason. Oh. And in this jungle, one man is king of that order. One man is George, George of the Jungle. Now, Terence, let me tell you about eating friends. No eating friends. George mean everyone. Good, you're back. Now, to repeat, no playing in the mud and absolutely no more immature cave doodles. Ooh, mud! This Wednesday, like every Wednesday, finds George deep in the middle of king training with his trusty friend and mentor, Ape. You say, Wednesday? <laughs> yeah! Whee! <laughs> and no more naked Wednesdays, George. You are king! I know it's hard to believe, but all the other animals look to you as an example. <laughs> So you have to set a good example for them. And wash this thing. It's crunchy. Ah! Well, I hope it's a giant crate of bananas. But it never is, is it? Ah! What it be? Uh, it's a car, George. But what in the jungle is it doing here? Ah! Hmm. It's called the Eco Blast. Apparently, it's fueled by the souls of dinosaurs. And this flyer's printed on the wings of extinct butterflies. Ugh, how obnoxious. It's an environmental nightmare. Let's get rid of it before someone tries to use the blasted thing. Who it belonged to? Some spoiled person with more dollars than cents, George. No, the truck hasn't been delivered. Well, have you been home all day? Yes! I've been in my lair since this morning! It says here it was delivered. You already said that! But I'm looking around and there's no truck! So say that one more time and I'll unleash my swarm of flying cobras on you! Oh, yeah. Calm down, sir. Rudeness is not tolerated at guaranteed delivery. <laughs> Your company name is a mockery! It says here your truck was delivered. Maybe car belong to George now? Jungle law. The only thing you should keep, George, is your oath to protect the jungle. Now push. Mm, my new car smell is made from now extinct flowers. Who are you? I am Ecoblast. 
Like what you see? My paint is nuclear buff. George looks so shiny. Feel my seats. They're made of baby seals and only the cutest ones. <laughs> Why don't you take me for a ride? Uh, Ape, would it be bad if George drive car places? Yes, George, it would be bad. Take it from me. Cars don't get you anywhere. A proper jungle king can't be seen in an oil belching, environment destroying metal monster. And that's that. You really sure? Yes, I'm really sure. Now come, we'll push it into the bottomless pit and be done with this. Hey there, rock star. Why don't you take a load off? Engage seat massager. Engage foot massager. Engage eye massager. Try closing your eyes. <laughs> Wow! Engage jaw rest. What do you think you're doing in that thing? Jungle donut! George, you can't be king of the jungle in a car! No way! Car's good for jungle! George, show you! You have to agree. This machine is a nightmare. George's coolosity is definitely up at least 10 points. <gasps> Make that 15. Bah! It's time to throw some ingenuity at this problem. George! Stop! Go! Okay! I'm alright! Oh no! Me sorry! Me undo! Why would you do that? Whoops! Sorry, me redo. Please, stop. George, listen. Shh, please. Baby Eagles need sleepy time. George, look what I built for you. It's an eco-friendly car made out of coconuts and bamboo. What it called? Well, it's also called the Eco Blast, but for different reasons. It's an Eco Blast to drive. <laughs> uh, do you want to trade? Hmm, what do you have under hood? Pedals, mostly, but it does have a five coconut safety rating. Hmm. How about we race and see? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Ready for Brecky Bad? Time to reclaim what is mine. Roads closed, buddy. Stop your vehicle and... <laughs> Fine! You take something of mine, I'll take something of yours. for directing me away from accident, ape. Bye now! I don't believe it. <sighs> Road's closed, buddy. You'll have to detour through this sack. Uh, yes, of course, of course. Turkle, 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 turkle. <laughs> Wait, speak more slow. George, no understand. Rock Chicago have eight? Must bring Eco Blast to bottomless pit in next two hours or it go bottomless! 
<laughs> Bottomless. Turkey! He sent message over hour ago. That give me only uh, division plus multiplication. Turkey, turkey! Only 20 minutes to save Abe. <laughs> What's going on here? What you think? It all your fault. What George do? George just drives supercar all over jungle having fun. Exactly. What ape always tell you? Ape say me is example to animals. <laughs> oh no. Animals think George cool. So all animals get car like George. What? <laughs> no. 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 What me done? Car bad. But me still needed to save ape. Did you go joyriding through a rake factory? You wrecked my car, so I'm gonna wreck your friend! Release the monkey! I'm not a monkey! I'm a higher primate! Physics, so physics no apply. No. Me do understand car bad for jungle, and me must set good example. Sorry, I no listen to you. <coughs> Go fly, baby eagle. <coughs> the bottomless pit. It's the bottomless. It's lava. That's yeah, good. Lava destroy car, just like you say. But George, we're still in it. <coughs> George learned that cars no belong in jungle, so everyone pushed cars into not bottomless pit. I'm proud of you, George. We'll never see those cars again, and the jungle will recover. All cars melt in lava? Of course, George. What else would happen to them? alarm clock is the best gift Ape ever gave George. I didn't give that to you. That monkey just doesn't like you. Yeah. Hmm? Hey, an egg. Ooh, an egg. Well, let's see. 
We could have some omelets or a frittata. No! George must have laid this egg last night! Did you just say you laid an egg? Yup, a mad egg! Hmm. How can I explain this? Ah, oh, I know. You can't lay an egg! I can talk like an animal. I can smell like an animal. Ugh. Why can't you believe I can lay an egg like an animal? How about the fact that you're a guy, huh? How about that? George is going to take care of Man Egg. And when a little George comes out of it, we'll see which one of us looks like an overgrown monkey. Fine. But an egg is delicate. You're worse than a water buffalo in a china shop. Mm. What beautiful craftsmanship. <laughs> Man Egg, come! Oh, <laughs> he's just tired. Oh. That's better. Can I see the baby? Hi there, cutie. I'm Magnolia, your pretty aunt. And that is Ursula. She's your other aunt. Uh, George, I think that diaper is kind of unnecessary. Oh, time for potty training already? No, I mean, I don't think an egg needs that much attention. Sure, just sit on it till it hatches. Ooh, I just can't wait to see a whole man come out of that egg. What? Hi, George. How's the egg sitting? George just thinking about all the fun he'll have with little George. <laughs> what if it's a girl? Huh? A girl? A bleak for help. George has to go. But what about your egg? Uh, George will take it with him. You can't take a delicate little egg with you. It's too dangerous. Uh, it's got to learn about rescue sometime. <laughs> Also, long division. Very important. Help! Help! Okay, one moment. Hmm. Nope. Uh. Hmm. Oh, nice and comfy. <laughs> there you go. Hey! Get away from that man egg! Remember, never to talk to Swap! Now go! Got you! In a minute? Not it! 
a gunner when that hyena found it. And it was just luck when George found it in that egg fruit grove. You lost it? George still can't believe it wasn't eaten by the vulture who took it. Oh, or smashed with clubs by the chimps. That's terrible. George, as king of the jungle, you have too many dangerous duties to take care of this egg. Oh. Okay. For safety of little George. <laughs> Magnolia, you're hogging the egg. Am not. Are so. Hey, I have a fun idea. Let's use this time to get to know each other a little better instead of arguing. Sometimes in the morning, George's breath smells like bologna. Okay. Go back to arguing. Am not. Are so. Am not. You are, 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 are. <laughs> George is so lonely without man egg. Am not. Are so. Am not. Are so. You know, Ape, you could stand to trim your toenails now and then. What are you talking about? They're scratching me. My toes are nowhere near you. Are so. Are not. Are so. Wait. Those aren't Ape's toenails. <gasps> it's hatching. It's not a man. It's a bird? Weird. Whoa! Get that semi-hatched egg! I hope it doesn't fall and break its shell! And I hope the hyena had lunch already! Where's the egg? Man egg, you're back! And you have feet! I guess he took better care of it than we thought. Well, sure. What'd you expect? I break it? <laughs> hey, you! Cookie, cookie! Hello, little George. Cookie, cookie! Oh, okay. Hello, Tookie, Tookie. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Cookie, cookie! Well, sure. Tookie Tookie can visit George whenever he wants. And that's the story of how George met Tookie. Aww, Tookie Tookie. <laughs> ah, the jungle at night. <laughs> Soothing. And jazzy. Bungles! Uh-oh! <laughs> I sincerely hope this is a bad dream. Uh, <laughs> it, George just want Ape to get good rest. Bongos! <laughs> 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 but everyone in the jungle knows what bongos do to me. Uh, Abe, stay here while George investigates. I tried telling him, George. Uh, 
<laughs> Big Mitch? <laughs> hey, you muscles! My door is always open to another music lover. Yeah, but why isn't Big Mitch at the temple? Huh, sad story. Just when things were finally going good at the temple. Hey, quit hogging the cheese. I found my old set of bongos. Any requests? Good music, huh? Uh, tossed out of my own ancient golden temple with nothing but my beloved bongos. <laughs> but for now, let's party! Uh, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna take care of it. Oh, Big Mitch just got tossed out of his home. Don't worry, George has other plans. <laughs> Aha! I do not approve of this plan. But George, you can't solve all your problems by putting your friends in a block of cement. Why not? Ape can still talk, and George can feed him, and hold his book up so he can read, and... I have to go to the bathroom. Oh. What you want to do is distract Big Mitch with another instrument. George doesn't have any instruments. <clears throat> My voice is considered an instrument. By who? Me. supposed to take care of Mitch. Oh, Mitch taught me how to sing like a rock star. Isn't that so awesome? Gonna do it again. This means war. Uh, Bongo moisturizer? Keeps your bongo skin soft. How thoughtful! What is that? What is that sound? It's called silence, George. And you better get used to it because that's the way it's gonna be from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again! A one, and a two, and a three! Over. Ah! Ow! 
Ape tipped over Big Mitch's tree? George, something had to be done. There were a lot of animals in that tree. Ah, it's better for them to find a new home where they don't have to listen to those awful bongos. Good, because George invited all the animals to come stay with us. Huh? Hello! What do you have to do to get some breakfast around here? Go! You're in my house, and I make the rules, and the first rule is no bongo playing. These animals need a new tree. Any vacancies? Sure. Great. Are they available right away? I just need to do a background check, get references clean, and rebark. Oh, and no marmosets. Named Mitch. <gasps> Whoa! Big tree! How come George not smack into it before? It looks empty, George. Do you know what this means? Uh, George gets his own bed back? <laughs> Sorry, Big Mitch no can't do this. That's too bad. Because if you do move into this tree, you can have your bongos back. Oh, yeah, give me my bongos. Yeah, uh, uh, tree first, then bongos. Slick. Very slick. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> <Whoa -hoo>! Yeah! <laughs> <sighs> Peace and quiet at last. <laughs> we can't stand the bongos anymore! All this evicting gets me in a partying mood! Can I get a what, what? Holla! Get him! Oh, here. <laughs> okay, fellas, we can work this out. I mean, you wouldn't hurt a musician, would you? No. <laughs> <laughs> now see what you did? If you just... We told you we don't want you and your annoying bongos in this temple anymore. I am offended, sir. My drum thingy playing is one of the highest caliber. Hey, cut that out! Huh? How do you do that? Every time I hear bongos, an ape loves to dance. Great exercise for mummies, too. My bandages are getting a little tight. That looks like fun! Let me try! I love it! Keep playing! Here we go! Holla! <laughs> Put your hands in the air! Wave them like you just don't care! <laughs> this is fun! George should get instrument! No bongos! Uh, George? George? George! George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ain't they ain't ain't then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef, Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. Well, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me! It's time to get dressed! I'll have this 
strength of 1,000 orangutans in trouser form! Hooray! Let's see those jungle bullies push my buttons now. <laughs> Back off, Six Legs. That's my egg salad! <laughs> 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 No going over the top! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fuzz Space! Do you think I like eating sand? Huh? <laughs> Do I ever? <laughs> Yummy! Oh. <laughs> Time to give Mother Nature a spanking! Don't mind me, just doing science. You know, underwaterology stuff. That wasn't me. Ah! Who's a wimp now? <laughs> Bring it on, horn face! Stuff that isn't food, huh? Ah! That's right, cry home to your fuzzy little bombs. Boo hoo hoo! Wow, we is there anything your orangu pants can't do? No, they do it all. Now you're in for it. From who? George? Oh, he's strong, all right. But is he orangu strong? I think not. <laughs> Just walk. He could have been here an hour ago. I don't know, okay? I don't know! Hey, bad doctor! Stop beating up animals! Well, thank you for finally showing up. It's not like I had important stuff to do today or anything! <laughs> Time to crank it! <laughs> Impossible! No one's that wrong! Cuspid! Ew! Those are the same underwear you wore yesterday! What? No, they're... How do you know that? Wow, that only took forever! I... But I guess that's what happens when you hit every tree in the jungle. Admit it, George. You have a tree problem. But George always hit trees. I'm ranting here. George, you need help. Science help! According to my calculations, George spends over 12 hours a day about to hit a tree, hitting a tree, or hitting a tree again. It hasn't stopped him from being a good king. Not knowing basic math didn't stop me from being a scientist either. But it doesn't mean it was right. You don't know basic... Trust me, George. I make you better king. But first, we need some science data. Okay, George. Swing over here. I can't stop watching. I know. It's so hypnotizing. The way his face just stretches. How does help, George? Hello? Waza! It's our, uh, you know, data and stuff. We need more data. Just after we watch this. Again. If I learned anything at online university, it's that you can't do science without a laser or two. Yes, but some lasers are extremely dangerous. You do know there's different kinds, right? Of course I do. There's red lasers and there's blue lasers. This is a red one, so it's completely safe, scaredy cat. It'll scan George as he swings and makes all sorts of charty graphs. Okay, George, go! Uh, ah! Sure. 
George Fine! Okay, George, there's absolutely no trees to hit here, so just swing across the clearing. You gotta be! George radiates something I like to call the Magnolia's Arbor Effect. He can't help but swing into trees. It's like he's a wood magnet. Trees always love George, ever since George was little. Wait, George wants to play too! <laughs> Stop, Tickle! George was very popular when George was young. <laughs> Why George wrapped in tinfoil? You're like a balloon that never lost its static electricity. And as every scientician knows, the only way to get rid of electricity is with more electricity. <laughs> George happy the way George is! George loves tree kisses! Pish posh poosh! A few hundred gigawatts and you'll never hit a tree again! I have to agree with George. If he prefers to remain as he is, you must respect that. Um, hello? You tried to brainwash him only five episodes ago? <laughs> Antitype. Antitype. Antitype! <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Yes! I was foolish to think orangutans would be enough to stop George. Have you seen him recently? He's totally jacked! I need to find some new combination of animal and clothing. Something fabricticians have only dreamt about. Cuspid, fetch my finest cyber yarn! George, it's okay. The lightning's gone. Come on out. Come on. George, feel... <laughs> Different. A billion volts will do that. Let's see if it worked. Go on. Swing! Uh. 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 No hit tree! George never no hit tree! <laughs> it's okay, George. It's okay. It's better than okay! It's great! I'm the smartest wow. one! George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch him pass those trees. Doesn't quite have the same ring. George miss his tree kisses. Turkey, turkey! Scamper away! <laughs> hey, stop fighting animals, Doctor! First, how'd you get here so quickly? Second, who cares? Because I'm sporting my new gorilla sweater! George, teach you lesson. Oh, really? And what would that be? Grammar? Personal hygiene? You're not qualified to teach! <laughs> this is too easy! Uh, it's like you're not even trying! Uh, In fact, I don't even need my gorilla sweater. George, no understand! <laughs> that went better than expected. Now, where were you? <laughs> For my discovery of the Magnolia's Arbor effect, I feel a Nobel Prize would be... Ow! Oh, man, that... George? What happened? You happened. Somehow you made George as weak as a very weak kitten. George must go back. Stop, doctor. Okay, okay. I'll do some science and figure out what's wrong. It's because he's not hitting trees. <laughs> Ridiculous! There's no way hitting trees made George strong. It's the only thing we haven't tried. Now swing! Oh! Oh! See ya? This is dumb. Face tree no making muscle. <laughs> Magnolia been working out? No, but I figured out what happened to your strength. No mere researcher does that to a PhD! Uh, it's uh, tree vitamins, George! They get slammed into your cells every time you hit a tree! <laughs> Magnolia's right. George's near constant dose of exotic tree vitamins gives him strength far exceeding your average ape man. Swing, George! Swing and hit as many trees as you can! George can do that! George, miss! Just hit a tree! Oh, George can't! For oh, the love of! Hurry! My tree vitamins are wearing off! Hit harder than it looks! Why is it so hard to hit a gap? George, hit tree soon! <laughs> uh, hey, stop! That's weird! <laughs> oh, oh, ah, 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 ah. 
jungle love George again! Uh, 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 I just got this sweater, and the first thing you do is rub greasy jungle man all over it? That'll never come out! George thinks sweater ugly! <laughs> Tree kisses do make George strong! Good. I'm glad. I had to hit a lot of trees to figure that out. Am I missing any teeth? Um... Oh, no, no, uh, you fine. The Jungle, a typical Tuesday. Today is different. Today, the jungle gets a special treat. Yes, the legendary Blue Crooner. Her voice calms the savage beast. Tames the surliest volcano. She even does experimental jazz. Yeah, I don't get it. But that's a story for another time. Ooh, let's sit up front. You are king. George? Uh, better view at back. But it's the blue crooner. I need to hear every exquisite note. Can you see the stage? I can't see the stage. George, we should move closer. Nope. George good right here. <gasps> it's starting! <laughs> What's with this vibe? <gasps> uh, George? Now, Tiger? Not yet. Patience is the hunter's best quality, Weevil. After a loyal mustache. Watch out, jungle. It's Tiger Titheridge and Weevil Plumtree. There are hunters, and then there's Tiger. His collection of trophies extends farther than our animators can draw. Tiger's the greatest hunter the world has ever seen. Weevil is working on it. Batman hunters! Activate the monkey warning system. Hey, monkey! My word! George Staff Hunters! George, wait! They're after the Blue Crooner! Yank that vine, man! Crooner, look out! Are you okay, madame? Yes, yes, quite fine. But that voice... It sounded familiar. Clean up familiar. Mia, Tito. Tito? Blast! Grab Bertie. Talk about Tito later. Oh, no. We lost her. Weevil, my feeble friend. This hunt has only just begun. That hunter's still behind us? <laughs> I'm sure I know you. No, no, me Toti. I thought it was Tito. Where? Me no see Tito in ages. I'm positive we've met before. No. Ah. <laughs> You'll be safe here. Oh, this is George's home. You know him? How? Oh, if no one hears that old story. Yes, Abe does. I mean, yes, I do. Back when George was just a wee boy, I taught him to sing. He was the best student I ever trained. You see, every singer has a true voice, one that comes from their very soul. And we were close to finding George's inner music. Yes, George, yes, you're almost there. Oh, bravo, George. But this is just a step on the path to finding your song, George's song. But one day, George stopped coming to lessons and answering the phone and his mail and the doorbell. That's not how George remembers it. <gasps> George? George, stop, because animals laugh at George. They all laugh at George. <laughs> I 
can't believe I was fooled by your feeble disguise. It's not your fault. It's a cartoon thing. Otherwise, we'd also notice that sawing sound. What sawing sound? Exactly. <laughs> Hello, feathers. Sweet dreams one, sweet dreams two. Blue crooner! I'll never sing for a monster like you! I don't want you to sing. I want me to sing. Oh, my! He's full of jerky! So much jerky! They say the Blue Crooner's voice is hypnotic. Let's find out how hypnotic. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how long we were out, but... Wait! Do you hear that? Don't hear nothing. That's what I'm worried about. Hello? 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 And no one pick up coconut. George, it's the crooner! George here! Pretty sound. George, it's hypnotizing! Earplugs tickle. It's coming from this way. Hey, let animals go, bad hunters. Where's the blue crooner? She's in my throat. You eat crooner? Help me, George! Don't be a dunderhead. I'd never eat as useful a bird as her. <gasps> Your siren song has no effect on us. We stick buds in our ears. Very clever. But are your insect earplugs wearing earplugs? <gasps> Ooh, that's smart. You'll make my best trophies yet. <gasps> See what you got. First, me warm up. Do re mi fa so. La la li 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 lulu. Mi ma 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 mo mu. Do re mi fa so. La 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 li li lulu. Black block. Come on, man. Ready now. <gasps> yeah. Now that's a challenge! George! You're doing it! No king should sound like that. George, don't listen to him. Don't listen to anyone. Reach down. Sing the song that is deepest within you. Sing George's song. <clears throat> now it's been a nice intermission, but it's time for the grand finale. <laughs> Down deep. 
you back for more? George reached down deep to the core of his soul and unleashed George's song. George's song, and there's no need to ever, ever sing it again. Uh -huh. But me not finished yet. Time for encore. No, that's really not. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.